Paul Rusesa Bagina refused to come to court with his co-accused to hear the verdict of his trial in Rwanda's capital Kigali. He was charged with terrorism and related offences. Prosecutors said he was behind a series of attacks that happened in Rwanda three years ago. With regard to Rususa Bagina, Paul, he is convicted of being a member of an illegal group and participating in terror activities, but he is acquitted of creating an illegal armed group. Therefore, Rususa Bagina, Paul, is sentenced to 25 years imprisonment. Rusesa Bagina was flown from Dubai to Kigali last year against his will. Rwanda's government suggested he was deceived into boarding a plane that it paid for. International legal observers say that was just the first of many problems with the trial. His family has rejected the verdict. My father was tortured, kidnapped, denied his basic right, and then now they just gave him a guilty verdict. The co-accused came on the stand and said that they had been forced and coerced and tortured into saying false things against my father, and the witnesses are paid a government agents. Rusesa Bagina was made famous by the Hollywood film Hotel Rwanda. It told the story of how he saved hundreds of lives as a hotel manager during Rwanda's 1994 genocide. He then fled into exile and became a vocal critic of Rwanda's president, Paul Kagame. He pledged support for an opposition armed group. Prosecutors said he also funded it and ordered attacks. Rusesa Bagina denied it. Most of his co-accused pled guilty and their statements were used as evidence against him. The other defendants are now being led onto the prison bus to be taken back to jail. But Rusesa Bagina hasn't even left jail for the last six months because he's refused to participate in the court proceedings. All of the defendants now have the opportunity to appeal at the Court of Appeal within the next 15 days. Rusesa Bagina and his supporters have completely rejected all of these legal proceedings to date. Rusesa Bagina is a Belgian citizen and a resident of the US. Both governments have criticised the trial. Rwanda's government says justice has been delivered. If he serves the 25-year sentence, Rusesa Bagina, who's 67 years old, will likely die in jail. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Kigali, Rwanda.